with Chris John, Director of Cardiopulmonary Services at Salem Township Hospital. He is going to speak to us today about stress tests. Chris, my doctor wants me to do a stress test. What can you tell me about it? Um, well, there are different types of stress tests. The most common and the one that's been around longest is just a regular stress test. In that test, we hook a patient up, just like an electrocardiogram, and then they get on the treadmill and they walk on it. The treadmill is graded, so every three minutes it speeds up a little bit. The purpose of that test is to find out if you have any blockage in your heart. And we do that by having you exercise. When you exercise, your heart rate goes up, your blood pressure goes up, and a lot more blood flow goes through the heart. And we can see the change on the EKG uh, rhythm on here. So we're looking at several things. One of them, the biggest one that we look at, the most important one, is the EKG change if you have blockage in your heart. Blockage in your heart is called ischemia. So that's what we're looking for in that test. So not everybody can have a regular stress test because in order to stress your heart, we have to stress your body. So to stress your body, you're stressing your legs, your feet, your knees, your hips, your lungs, and your back even because you're on this treadmill and you're stepping on the treadmill and you're walking on it and it goes uphill and we're trying to make it go faster. So um, it's not to the point where people are running usually, but there are other ways to do that test. And one of them is with a drug. The most, second most common way to do a stress test is a drug stress test. But in order to do a drug stress test, we have to do another form of the stress test portion, which is um, nuclear medicine. So we can show you nuclear medicine in the, the, in the nuclear medicine room down in the first floor. So the nuclear medicine portion is a separate imaging. And for that test, there's an IV injection of radioactive medicine. That can be done whether you're on a treadmill or very commonly with a drug. She had that drug stress test a few years ago and it was terrible. Right. I don't know if I want to do that. Right. The test, that's an older test too. We've been doing stress tests with drugs or pharmacological or chemical stress tests. They're called a lot of different things. The drug instead of exercise. The drug instead of exercise test, um, we've started at Salem Hospital in the early 90s. Um, the drug we used was sometimes problematic, and it, you know, but it hasn't been used for years. Another drug we, we used later on, adenosine, which was also made a person feel kind of bad for a while. The current drug we use is called Lexascan. So Lexascan is a specific drug made for doing tests, and we inject that, and uh, the, a person only feels this drug for a few seconds, a few minutes. But to even do better than that, we actually have a person walk on the treadmill for a minute at a low speed, and almost anybody can do that. Um, and we inject it, they don't really feel it at all. So if you hear that stress testing was really bad, um, it's somebody who may have had it a long time ago, or it's maybe somebody that's making you try to scare you. So. <laughs>